We on? Mm-hmm. Hi, friends. This is Trish, the Purple Painted Lady. Um, the other day I did a quick video talking about using shellac on top of a piece that has, um, that's been sanded and then you have a couple different surfaces shown. And the reason you do that is because you want the paint to basically, what's the word, Julie? Mm, take the same weight so you don't have any shadows. And now I'm starting to paint this buffet. I'll paint the back of it also um, for the customer. I think a piece looks a lot nicer and seems to have more value when the back is painted. But I'm just starting it, and I'm painting the top of it, and I thought I would share some tips with you, some basic tips on painting. I always start at the back and work my way forward because, sadly, I don't want to lean into my paint that I have just put on, so I don't want to start closest to me. And then when I'm painting a large surface like this, you might notice I start on, I'm right-handed, so I just seem to always start on the right-hand side, and I sort of broken this up strategically in quadrants for myself. So I'm starting on the right, I come back, I work a little bit here in the middle, and I'll just progress from right to left, just as I'm doing, okay? And then before um, I move on to finish this, I always lay the paint. And what I mean by that is I want to have a nice finish stroke from one edge to the other. Sometimes I'll get emails from you customers or clients out there, and they'll say they got all these funny little brush strokes. The paint is self-leveling, but you need to work with it. You need to help it. And that is why I always do a nice, long finish stroke from edge to edge. I hope that helped. I'm going to continue making some short, helpful, hopefully helpful videos for you. So stay tuned, and you can see this buffet when it's uh, completed.